My plan has always been to start my own business after school. I never wanted to go into the workforce and work for somebody else. Minnesota Wi-Fi is a new company that was started to provide high-speed internet service to the rural community. I grew up in the rural community. I started it where I grew up. People know me, customers know me, and I started it because no one else is going out for them. They're not spending money, they're not investing any money in the community. You know, we live out in the country, and we had access to one meg DSL, and the cheapest we could get that for was about $78 a month. Now, that's extraordinarily high compared to what people could get in town, you know, where they could get 10, 15, 20 meg for 30 bucks a month, and we're stuck out in the country with that option. And I saw this opportunity, and I've been wanting to start something like this since, you know, junior, senior year of high school. And I'm like, I gotta go to college, I wanna go to St. Olaf, and junior year, I just, it kept nagging at me in the back of my mind that I wanted to get this going and I didn't want to wait another year because no one else is going out for them. They're not spending money, they're not investing any money in the community and I wanted to be that company that does that. So we use existing tall structures whether in my area specifically we use a grain elevator that's almost 200 feet tall. We're also on a, a personal, a farmer's wind turbine as well. So we put, we go up high we use that vertical asset that's there. We either pay rent or give them free internet access. And then we add our antennas onto that. And that projects or broadcasts our wireless signal out, you know, anywhere from five to 10 miles, basically. I've just kind of done that research and followed the technology in the industry uh, through getting into St. Olaf here, through freshman, sophomore, and junior year. And junior year is when I thought, okay, there's still no new competition. There's nothing coming in the pipeline. Why not start something new? That's what a real entrepreneur does. You know, an entrepreneur doesn't, doesn't have just one idea, they have many. And they need to formulate the best ones and develop those and just kind of take that initial risk. Because if you fail, it's not the end of the world. You're not really out much, you're young, you don't have a ton of money to lose right now at this time. You know, and if you're gonna fail, fail fast. <laughs> 